Hi friends! Welcome back to the Raven's Nest. For those of you who are here for the first time, my name is Raven and I am on a journey to lose over 100 pounds. And we are so positive that we are going to be super successful. So this week, um, sad to say, um, I did get on the scale and I gained one whole pound, but I do feel like it's because I was supposed to be tracking all of my true calories, um, everything that I ate this week for the new program that I start on Monday. Um, I feel like part of me was just eating some things I wouldn't normally eat because I'm like, all right, this new program is going to start on Monday. Uh, so when I, that's what I came to when I was thinking back on it, uh, when I weighed in. So I was like, I was doing so good. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? And I think it was just like some rebellious part of me that was just like, we're starting a new program. We got to get it in now. So I, I don't know. It was dumb. <laughs> Uh, it was real dumb. Um, I should not be rebellious like that. And I know better. Um, and then also this morning I had to do my before pictures. And they have, um, she, uh, the trainer, she has us do like some very vulnerable pictures. Like just in your sports bra and like some uh, shorts or underwear. So I took those pictures and they're, they're very vulnerable for me. And I'm going to turn them in. It just feels, it just feels scary about it. But I don't know why I should feel scared about it. I mean, this is my body as it is now. And we're just going to change it. That's just the way it's going to be. Um, I'm very excited about the program starting on Monday. Uh, she has sent over the workout um, that we do. And we can pick three times a week or four times a week. Um, and then she has laid out the workouts that we do, um, and then the rest days that we're supposed to have. So I'm really excited. The workouts look good. Uh, the, the, you know, the number of times that you do it in a week, it looks good. I'm super excited and I can use the rest days as active recovery days and do spin class on those days. Uh, cause I did go back to spin class this week and found that I kind of like it. Um, the early morning coach during the week, she is very inspirational. I'm really enjoying listening to her. She makes me want to push, um, but also makes me feel accepted at the same time. So, um, and I am enjoying it, which is something that I wasn't sure I would do, <laughs> but I am enjoying it. So I'll be back next week. And I think next week is when my bestie goes with me. <laughs> Yay. Uh, so... I can use this new program's exercise in the mornings. I can use the spin class and active recovery days. And then I can do um, the boot camps in, as like an afternoon workout. I think that sounds great. And I think that sounds body changing. Um, she also sent over, like, we had to track our calories all of last week. So then she sent individually to each one of us, she said, this is what your calories should be. Um, cause we gave her our height, our current weight, um, our average calories. So I tracked them for five days and then I averaged those out and sent that to her. And she said, here is your calories. Um, she told me my calories are like 2,100 a day, but she said, I'm a lot of days that have more or days that have less. Um, I think that she knows that I have days like that, <laughs> uh, especially with my schedule that I have. Um, in the way that I, that I go at it. Um, so, uh, as long as I can, you know, hit this amount in a week, um, is like the, the big goal. So it's like 2,100 a day, but then also if I have under on Sundays, that's okay. If I have a little bit over on Sundays, that's okay. As long as I'm equaling this much in a week, um, and that should keep me in my calorie deficit. Um, which I think is fantastic. So between the workout and the calorie deficit, I mean, I'm really excited. I think there's going to be some great change there. So that starts Monday. Um, and then this week, 
I mean, not a lot to report this week. No hospitalizations this week, so that's, you know, that's good. Um, just been working away, just been working on myself. Um, just been class. I, I had to work in the office this week, but I didn't let that keep me from um, working out as well. I did uh, some, a couple of Leslie walks Oh, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> I did a couple Leslie walk, and I've got the yawns. <laughs> it's early morning right now. It's like 6 a.m. <laughs> so I did a couple Leslie walks in the office. I did a boot camp in the office, which um, my boss, who is just recently back in the country from a long trip, um, he had actually stopped by to say hi. <laughs> Took my picture while I was working out in my office <laughs> just yelled out now that's dedication <laughs> so that made me laugh <laughs> but um i just didn't let being away from the nest and away from my normal um uh, work and workout location stop me from doing the things that i normally need to do for myself i went ahead and just adjusted it to where i was so um, that was good. And then on Saturday, uh, I went and did a walk in the park with a friend. So Briar and I went and we met up with our friends, Susie and Dixon. And while we were walking, Susie had mentioned about looking at a second dog, possibly. And so we had decided to go to our local um, rescue pub. It's called Bark. And we decided to go have lunch there and then go play with their animals. So we got to go into the cat room and into the dog room and have just loads of fun just snuggling the animals and let, there was only two dogs there uh that day because everybody keeps getting adopted but we got to just snuggle those high energy balls of fluff and that kind of stuff just fills the love tank i had so much fun in there and i can't wait to go back and play with doggies and kitties again so that was basically my week. Um, not a ton of stuff going on. Uh, just working at it some more. Just still working at it. And being super excited and super positive about what's coming. I know the change is coming. And I know it's going to be great. So here we go. Um, I'm going to go and get all of this edited together for you wonderful, awesome people. And I want to get myself ready to start this new program and see all of this change that's coming. Huh. I really am excited. Hey friends, so I wanted to share with you uh, this little thing, Malicious Women Candle. I just got this candle in the mail the other day. I haven't opened it yet. Um, but I'm working here in the office and I wanted to burn a candle in the office and look at all these. <laughs> if you guys have never visited Malicious Women Candle, I encourage you to go there. Uh, it's hand poured candles and the cause is beautiful. Um, so here's a beautiful little package. Mm -hmm box contains maliciousness. So um, I decided to join the subscription club. You get a nice little sticker. Because um, our candles always smell good. The cause is wonderful. Um, and candles just make me feel comfortable. And I've been burning them in my home office and uh, currently I'm working in the physical office. So I thought I'd bring in this month's candle and bring it here since I like them so much. Right now, this one is a brownie batter. Yeah. I smell it. Oh my god. <laughs> it smells just like a brownie batter. And now I need a pound of gluten. P pound? No, a pan. A pan of gluten free brownies. Because that is making me hungry. Oh my gosh. So go, go to Malicious Women 
candle company and get yourself some candles. They have fun, malicious labels. They have great scents. They're hand poured. They're made here in Washington. Uh, the cause is beautiful. Go read about it on the website. I can't encourage you enough. Um, this is great. She's great. And um, oh, that's really going to make me angry. <laughs> I'm going to go light this and I'm going to get to work now. <laughs> It's a Saturday and it's a little bit gloomy out, but car says it's 41, so we're not freezing out there today. And we have come to the park downtown and we're gonna meet our friends Susie and Vixen, Briar's old girlfriend. <laughs> and we're gonna go for a little walk at the park. You've seen our, our park before. Let's see if you can see the giant wagon. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but we're going to go over there and have a little walk and a little friend time and it's just going to be a nice little morning, Saturday morning um, excursion and Briar, who always gets nervous about car rides, is back here ready to get out of this car. It's because he doesn't like being in here. Say hi, Bri Bri. Look, Briar. Bye bye. Look. Yeah, he doesn't even want to look. <laughs> so let's just uh, go find our friends over by the giant red wagon and uh, have a nice walk and chat.
All right, folks, uh, that's it for today. That's all I got. So remember to take care of yourselves, take care of each other, love yourselves, love each other. Remember, I care for you, so you should care for you. And I thank you so very much for blessing me by stopping by the nest for a little visit. And until next time, guys, bye. I love you all so much.